Gal what? Galnir moves first? Wait, this is a slow one. Wait, I sacrificed half of my HP, right? So I could just kill this guy right now. Oh! Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Siege in G3. This is Global and currently we are rank 18. We did, we did fall a few ranks, makes sense. Like I said, I don't think we should be in the top 10 nor the top 20. So there's a very good chance we'll lose this one too, maybe second place. We don't know yet because Battle Gods don't have a really good win rate. But win rate isn't the only thing. So we'll have to see by the end. I wouldn't know. I'm just gonna try my best to get the best win rate as I can. Now, I do have a 110 victory rate or contribution. I did win six battles, which I will show you guys later. And I got four defense wins with five losses. Like I said, some more defense wins as we fall out of top 20. Pro K is currently rank 13 and Battle Gods rank 26. I did reserve a battle here, so I'm gonna take this if we can. What's good though? Oh, this. I showed this multiple times how we could win against this defense using the Garo route verd so let's see if this works again you kill off the nikki first Ooh, they're fast but we're faster so nikki's dead and then i'm gonna tap the clara go so it doesn't use skill three. Oh, we procced oh we take a turn does clara just die nope oh clara still use skill three. Oh, counter dang it my verd's on revenge guys okay violent revenge oh <laughs> verd verd Taking so many turns. Looks like we got this win like we anticipated. Awesome. They want us to take this. Apparently the <laughs> chimeras here are really fast. They're swift. So do I have anything that could deal with this? How about we take Belial with the Rena? Belial, Rena, Riley? Can we try that? I will have to rune up a Riley though. I mean, it's not Arena. Will this work? Will we be able to kill this Rakan? And then can we deal with Theo? Hope so, but we do have to get rid of his passive quickly. Oh, the Theo is the problem, isn't it? Because his passive is going to keep coming back up. Hey, this could be stupid, but I'm going to try it. You will never know until you try. Gel- what? Gelnir moves first? Wait, this is a slow one. Wait, I sacrificed half of my HP, right? So I could just kill this guy right now. Oh! What? It didn't kill. That's really bad. That's really bad, wait. Dude, he healed too much. I made a mistake. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. How do I how do, how do I kill that guy? Okay, he's on revenge. Wait. Unless. Oh freak. This is bad. This won't even do enough damage. Let's try to just hit the deal. Oh my goodness. Oh my, this is gonna be hard. Okay, let's let's try to get everybody. Wait, can we even get anybody low? They just heal right up and he'll keep getting fight. Okay, let's just. This is bad. Oh, it's not that bad. Rina's tanking it really well. Oh, but you're not tanking it well. Well, let's heal. Don't counter. Okay, okay, wait. Oh, I should have put a destroy set. One more turn, right? Can we do decent damage here? No, not decent damage. Okay, <laughs> freak. Wait, wait, okay. I need Rina to heal. Oh, actually, this, this girl could heal too. Oh my god, she, she just got the five stacks. Oh, okay, let's let him use it here. Oh, he has the shield. I hate the fact that he has the shield. Wait, but we can't even kill the... um. We can't... 
I think the Gelnir is gonna just survive this like a boss. Unless this hits harder. Oh, it's much harder. Okay, it's much harder. Okay, I think we got this. I think we got this. 53k, that Gelnir should die too. <laughs> oh, I was mistaken, guys. I thought we were gonna fail. But we just didn't hit hard enough because he wasn't at 0 HP. This is very good. This is very good. Um, He has 4 stacks. I'm just gonna use it. I could give him 5 stacks. It's fine, right? It's not the end of the world. And then we'll just... Oh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Rina <laughs> survives it like a boss. That's good. Um, let's see how much damage you do here. I should I should put a destroy set on my Belial. I should put destroys everywhere. Uh, guys, if you're playing Siege, destroy sets is the way to go. <laughs> they can't do anything. Okay, if I don't do anything, this guy won't get... F oh, shoot. That's bad. Okay, I have to... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I can heal. Don't proc here. <gasps> that was so bad. Okay, I need to get rid of that. I need to proc right here. Uh-oh. Don't proc. Ugh. That shouldn't kill. Oh my goodness, I survived. Can I proc here? It's because I want to heal a little more. Come on. Stop stealing my buffs. Okay, I don't want counters. I'll just do this. <gasps> no. Oh, why are you letting the defense break? No. Oh, if I had destroy, I could win this. If we kill here. Don't die. Wow. We survived that. Heal? Holy cow. Don't proc again. I mean, three is already a whole lot. Some, in reality, somebody would die just right there. I'm just gonna heal. Oh, freak. Oh. Big hit. Cleanse that. We get defense buff, proc right here, Aliyah. <laughs> we don't really get a whole lot of procs compared to that Dio. <laughs> but thankfully by Dio itself, it can't really kill. When we have defense buff too. Okay, so we're gonna get the win here. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. So this worked. I thought my Belial just didn't do enough damage, but I was wrong. I was so wrong there. It was just that he wasn't at like 1 HP. Oh, well, what is this gonna do? <laughs> Let's just see how much damage he does. Boom. 58k. <laughs> Counter kills. Okay, Rina did his job. Awesome. It worked. It worked. I thought it wasn't going to work. This is the fast one. This is not the fast one. Because Gelnir moves first, right? This is not the fast one. Dude, <laughs> we put a grave. He made a graveyard here. Okay, I'm going to attack this one right here. I don't really have a good counter here. But I do want to try taking in my Douglas. Hmm. Douglas good. Yeah, I'll try Douglas. Douglas, Nana, and Riley. Okay. And I guess we'll try to kill the Prana first. I mean, and get multiple lives. I think that's the plan. Both Nana and Riley are on her rest. So let's hope for the best. Okay, okay, let's see this. Come on. Oh, wow. Chandra goes first. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Okay, don't proc, please. Wow. Get a stun. Defense break. We need a defense break. We need another... Oh, no stun. Okay, we have attack buff, though. And we'll get a... Oh, that's a good proc. Kind of want Will. Oh! That's bad. Okay, but... Oh, freak. Okay. Oh, you're still not out of it. Kind of want to get so oh, free. Attack break here. Oh, nice stun. Okay. I really need a stack. I'm scared. I really need a stack right now. Oh, freak. Can we can we kill the cichlid first? Maybe cichlid's squishy. Cichlid's very squishy. Oh, we got the stack. Okay. <laughs> That's all we need. Okay. 
Okay, attack break here now. Oh, that's horrible. We needed the attack break. Okay, attack break. Oh, freak, what the heck? Are you on resistance slot six? Dude, are you on resistance slot six? What is going on? What is going on? Okay, I think Chandra has the protect again, right? Or defense. Okay, kill yourself. Oh, close. Maybe we just kill this guy. Oh, wait. He's done, so this will just be straight up damage. Boom. Yes. <laughs> we won. We won. Good thing the printer didn't proc. If the printer proc, then we would have lost. Because the Douglas will be dead, right? Defense break. Now she gets defense broken. <laughs> of course. She's gonna proc. Ah, that was wrong. <laughs> it felt like it. Cool. Wow, that cichlid was very squishy. The Rakuni and the Laika. Let's go. Let's go, go. Go, go, go. Of course she would go for Laika. Don't die. Okay, wait, we could wake him up. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can just kill her. Dang it. Okay, we actually did. I think my... Oh, wait, if we get skill two right now. Oh, shoot. If we get skill two right now, proc. She's gonna lap. Go through. Oh, it wasn't enough. Don't die. Holy cow. Oh, wait, but if we do this, he's dead. We won. <laughs> it worked, guy. It wor wait, did we win? We might have not won. Wait a second. That's a crit. My raccoon is dead. Well, I think we still should win, right? Freak. Oh, if he starts getting stuns like that, we're st Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Let's break this at least. Come on. That's because he procs, she procs so many, he procs so many times. Proc? Uh oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. We have to still kill this girl because she could defense break, but he could proc. Come on, revenge. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, shoot. Don't stun again. Oh. <laughs> we got the win. That was very close. Wow. Uh, that was very close. Okay, good thing we got the 10-10. We did close off yellow because it was important that we did that because they were getting too many points. Yeah, we're last place right now. So it's going to be pretty hard. Um, we have the least amount of attacks left, so that's really bad. But let's see, let's see how things go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys all the replays. Okay, so I hit one of these defenses with my Leo team. I've showed this multiple times. If you kill the if you kill the Theomars, you get the win. And although a lot of people say don't let me know, I mean don't let you guys know who won before even finishing the video. It's really hard to lose with this offense against this defense. Because the only damage dealer is Dio, and you just get too many chances with the Leo's passive and the Diana's passive to attack this Theomars. So in the end, you get this win once she kills the Theomars. And look how low Theomars already is. Yes, you get into a weird state once this threat state is up, but you just take too many turns due to Diana's passive. And also, Eladro has a strip chance. So if you get that lucky strip early, then it's just so much easier to kill the Theo. I'm gonna show you guys killing the Theo and then end it. Yep, Theo is almost dead already. The Endure is popped. We try to get a stun. If he doesn't proc multiple times here, he doesn't win, he didn't, and that was it, okay? We won the match. The next defense we hit was a variance of this, of the previous one, which I think is much weaker, especially if you have a Molong Bulwark. If you kill off the Vigor, really, again, I think you get the win pretty easily. So I'm gonna end the video once you kill off the Vigor, because where's the damage? 
Where's the damage? We're gonna keep giving the buffs to the Bulver. Yes, we're giving it to Gelnir too, but we're going with the one-shot comp with Malong. We just need skill three over and over again. So, very first turn, Rigor is gone, and that was it, <laughs> okay? That was it. I don't know why they're using this defense. It's kind of weak. Then I attacked this defense with a, with a team that I found from a video, a YouTube video. I forgot the YouTuber's name, I'm sorry. I'll remember it next, next time because I get ideas from them because obviously they play G3 Siege either in Global or somewhere else in the other parts of the server. Um, and this one seems pretty good. So I brought in this offense. We go right in. Yep, it was a fast Escher, violent. So I could have came with the Lucian, but you never know, right? So they weren't able to one-shot the heart, thankfully, because the Cichlid didn't go for skill three which was the reset defense break he goes for it now he lands it on our jolton that's his name but our jolton is pretty tanky and me and use skill three already so she didn't have her burst we keep landing the heal block with our jolton so they can't really heal and i just kept going for i guess the escher uh, i didn't want speed buff and stuff i think it would have been safe to just kill the mihang too because Mihang does bring in the cleanse, semi-cleanse. Um, but you can see that because they're so focused on speed and some damage, they weren't that tanky. And that got us the win. Uh, this is a very safe, it was a very safe offense. I'm again, grateful for giving me the idea to use this. It worked really well. Okay, I come into this defense again, but I forgot to start the recording in the beginning. I bring in my Harmonia Vigor Kinky. So it started, um, the Cichlid got the reset on my Vigor first turn. I just tried to kill Mihang first because Mihang is the main damage dealer. It's also the damage dealer that could kill the Kinky with skill 2 because it could always crit. So it was definitely my first target. Mihang procs a lot. Mihang procs a lot. It was driving me nuts. Cichlid also procs a lot. Look at that. We are just going to keep going for Mihang. We got that lucky proc. But Mihang still has hit her heal. So I try to get a sleep here. Never mind, I heal my vigor. But I do try to go for the sleep. Yes, I remember correctly. I did proc here. However, Mi Hang heals herself up. She procs, she procs again. I was kind of losing my mind, but thankfully, because my team was relatively healthy, I was in an okay state, mentally at least. And was just hoping that they stopped procking. Harmonia Vigor and Kinky here are all hundred res. So I am hoping for some resistance here and there. Thankfully, you saw how Cichlid missed it there. Uh, with the procs, Mihang got the heal back up, but we are bringing her down. I just needed one proc from Vigor or a proc from Kinky to kill her. There comes the <laughs> shield. So there's so much sustain, right, in this team, which makes it harder to kill a certain unit. But thankfully, we got the window and we were able to win this match. Because at this point, there's nothing that can even kill the Kinky, right? Um, yes, uh, good Eshers could deal a lot of damage to Kinky, but I think this one was not as good. Um, and we were able to get the win pretty easily, especially once we have killed that Mihang. I think that after the Mihang, it was just over. So with that, we won this match. I don't want to make the video too long, so we'll end it right here. There you go, victory. Then one more match, we went into this one. Um, it just looked too Lucianable. I mean, nefed this Tiana. Unless this guy had like crazy Swift runes. And even if he did, in G3, this will never work because there are so many players that have great Swift runes. I know my Swift rune sucks, I say it, but even with my suckish Swift runes, I was pretty confident that I was gonna outspeed this Tiana. Uh, <laughs> so that's exactly what happened. And we just go for Amputation Magic, hit for 18, 16, 17k per card, and that was it. And those are the battles previously before my four last battles. But with that, I was able to get a 10-10. Um, great contribution. 170 right under Pudamga. Hope that we could at least get second place. It really depends on how this pans out. Maybe if the red starts attacking the yellow a little. If not, uh, I think we were being pretty aggressive on both both sides in the beginning so people were saying that we we're getting 2v1 but I think to getting 2v1 is just a natural thing in Siege especially if you're pushing out 
um, if you're going into the opponent's territory, then it's just normal for them to push you guys out, right? I mean, they've been saying that um, their 9 and 8 and 11 and 12 was in this state the entire game up till now. But I mean, that's all speculative. I'm not, I don't want to blame them because I'm pretty sure we were also in a spot where we 2v1 other guilds too. So we should definitely not say anything about that. If you're actively doing that, then yeah, that's bad. I hope you're not. Uh, but I, I doubt that the guilds are doing this. I doubt it. Or am I being wrong? But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.